Omar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good, I'm good too. I'm doing well. I don't. How was your day, Omar? My day is well. Well, uh, what's a nice day? And Omar, do you work? No, um, I'm going to my house, my home uh, right now. I'm in the bus. How much time for you to get home, Omar? At uh, uh, nine. 9 30 p.m. Okay. Wow, 9 30. You get home late. Yeah, I'm um, 9 9 30 p.m. Uh, I arrive at, uh, at my home. And right now you are on the bus. Oh, yeah, we're <laughs> Go ahead, Omar. Hello, sir. Yes, I said in, in you are on the bus. Yeah, of course. Sure. Um, put my camera on. No problem. It's not difficult to be on the bus. Yeah, the connection uh, on the bus is not the right. Okay. Don't worry, then, Omar. You can have the camera off. It's just uh, that way. Sometimes with the connection, maybe it's a little difficult for you. Yeah, of course. And I can hear you very well. Okay. So, um, Omar, you don't work, right? No. Hello, teacher. Do you work? Yeah, of course. I, I, I work on uh, um, analyst, inventory analyst. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, right, I'm, sure. I'm glad you're with us today. All right. Thank you. Welcome. All right, guys. So I see we have several people in here. That's great. How was everybody's day? Did you have a guys have a good day today? So, so good, bad. <laughs> Tell me. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Javier. Good evening. I have For a me. Go ahead, Javier. Go ahead. And then, and then Rafa, go ahead. No, please, Rafa, continue. <laughs> no, go ahead, Javier. Don't worry. Go ahead. You have to practice. Go. No, no. So Javier, how was your day? I have a good day, teacher. And very, very hard in the work. Mm -hmm. Best because, but I like it. I like it, my work. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Rafa, how about you? How was your day? Quite good, teacher. It was an easy day. Today we graduate uh, the team that I told you yesterday. Uh -huh, the first wave. Yeah, the, the wave. And they start on the production on next Friday. Okay, that's good. Uh, so uh, today was a graduation for this, those guys. <laughs> And uh, I uh, we ate uh, pumpkin pie. It's yeah. really good. Okay. Something a little bit different, huh? Yeah, it's different. Okay. Good. I never had. I never had tried uh, really the pumpkin pie, but uh, really, it's, it's really good. Did you like it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I like it. 
Okay, good. That's great. It's good to try new things. That's important. Yep. Not, not only the same things, right? New experiences. All right. So we're going to first catch up with our partners. Uh, we want to ask a little bit. Remember, we're reviewing uh, past tense. We're taking a look at a couple of different things. And also, the, for example, ask your partner. Yesterday, we learned about the modal verbs. Remember, the modal verbs can, uh, could, uh, must, okay, may, might, these different things. So today, we're going to be asking our partners, for example, hey, what can you do at your office? Or what do you have to do? Or what uh, the different things that we're talking about with our partners, OK? So we're going to catch up, number one. We're going to talk about our day. And number two, we're going to ask them questions about what are their job, the responsibilities, the activities, the things that they do there, OK? It's OK? Yes. Yes, All sorry. Right. It's okay. Any questions? No. No. Okay. Rafa, you couldn't connect? Javier, what happened? You couldn't connect? Anna, I sent you to a group. What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. 
You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay, great. I see that everybody's talking a little bit about their days and their things. Okay. So tell me, Henry, what about your partner? What does your partner do? What did you learn? Uh, about I was alone in the room because my partner was, was in mute and with the camera off. I don't know why. They have technical problem. Who's your partner? I don't know. Elsie? Elsie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What happened. Okay, I think Elsie had technical, yes, Elsie had problems and she uh, had to had to leave, I think, bad internet connection. Yeah, okay, so that's the reason. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem, no problem. Okay, Byron, tell us about what you learned about your partner. Hi, uh, well, I was talking with two Annas. The first one is Anna Godinez. She worked as humor in the department for human resources. Resources. Uh, well, she has to send and verify all the contracts and things like that. And then at the end, there was another Anna. I think Anna Pineda. The last part that I heard from her, I think that she worked in with Ria. I think. I'm not really sure <laughs> because the session was I was going to put. Okay, good, Byron. Very good. Remember that when you're talking about the third person, to pronounce that final sound, the S, she works. I, oh. She does. Remember, uh, the idea is correct, but the pronunciation, that final sound, the S. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ever, tell us about you and your partner. Sure. I was in a room with Omar and Henry Molina, and uh, I, I uh, came later to the class. I had to run to, to get into the class. Uh, and, and Omar was telling us that he, is, uh, he, has, uh, he had troubles with his computer today, and and that it take a part of the day. After that, uh, he uh, tell us, told us, he told us that uh, take time to uh, to be with his friends and and, and rest. Uh, in general, he say that today was a boring day. For me, I can I can say that today was. Um, Interesting day in my in my job. So today uh, we had a training day meeting, training day meeting, and mm -hmm. we, we made some activities uh, about uh, 
standards to put this in practice in our in, in our work. Uh, I as I have told you before, I work in education, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to we have to use every day from standards uh, like uh, kindness, humility, and uh, I don't remember all the, <laughs> what it is that we call that we told today. That was my day. Okay. All right. No problem. Good. Good. Maria, tell us a little bit about your partner. You and your partner. Okay. Good evening. Um, I I talk with Alex in my in the room, and I told him that I went to El Vasco today, Ooh. and he told me that he lived for seven, uh, 27 years in Ilovasco and wow. then he he came to San Salvador and, and he lives in San Salvador uh, for 17 years maybe I, I remember that and uh, and uh, my internet was was in, unstable and we lost uh, some time in the conversation and he told me only that he oh. took, took for for her for, for his daughter to the college and in the afternoon he met a, with a, a partner or entrepreneur I don't know with about about a business about yes okay uh, only. entrepreneur entrepreneur, entrepreneur. okay mm -hmm. entrepreneur. thank you Ah, oh, good. Good job. All right. Great. And let's have one more. Dalia, tell us about your partner and you. Good evening. I only talking with um, Katia because uh, the, the time is very short, very short. And only here about the she's incapacitated because she had a surgery the last week. And then she's uh, resting at home right now. And I hear maybe she, um, she will to, to, to <laughs> quitar los puntos. I, ah, I remember, remove, yeah. remove. Remove, remove the stitches, no? There Correct, is, remove the stitches. The stitches, the, the next Friday or next, uh, Thursday, like Katia, Katia, Katia. Okay, okay. Yes. And Javier and me only here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Yes, Dalia, only here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now the time is very short. Okay. Okay. Good. Well, guys, that's the idea. The idea is making sure that we're using our past tense we're using the third person when we explain remember to use that s when you talk about the other person he works she studies they had a meeting that all of the different things that we had today we're going to be looking at conditionals okay conditional sentences i'm going to show you a little video so that it's clear this is going to be okay on 5.1 5.1 okay and the idea is, ah, if you found $750,000, what would you do? So what would you do if you found $750,000? Is a lot of money or no, Alex? Yeah, of course, it's a lot of money. It's time to celebrate. No, no, no. Really, I don't know what, what I do. Really, I don't know. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Ana Pinada, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, I buy a car, a house, and I um, save some money. Okay. Or maybe a, a negocio. How do you say negocio? Business. business. A business. business. Okay. Ah. Now, what happened? 
if the money belongs to El Chapo? <laughs> It's a problem, a yeah. big problem. It's <laughs> good for me. <laughs> they will run for, for the person money, that money. found the, the money. What do you think, Henry? What would you do? Maybe I, we I, can take some money and say that we only find, uh, I don't know, uh, $6,000. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think El Chapo kill you, Henry. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's watch the video and see what, what the people say. Let's find out a little bit about this, this grammar tense, okay? What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A. Listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Exactly that. First, we're gonna talk about it with our partners. We're gonna come up with ideas. What would you do and why, okay? So we're gonna have our partners. We're gonna create it Hang on. and only five minutes, just our ideas with your partners. What would you do if you found that amount of money? It's a lot of money. Yes. So tell your partners. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. 
This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on. All right, Elsie, did you understand the conditionals? Ah, okay. Tell me some of the ideas that your partners had. Carla Ivania, what were some of the ideas that your partner said? What was a crazy idea? Okay. Uh, um, my partner is Arp. Who? Is the... Anna, um, Elsie. Anna returned the, a lot of money at the police. Police, yeah. Police? Returned the police. Um, police, 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 police. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Elsie uh travel around the work, the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Only all right. Ah, the normal things, normal things. All right, Alex. What about yeah. you and your partners? What What would they do? Okay. Uh, we talk with with Henry and Mina, but we uh made a, a song uh change the question what happened is henry have a money say money not found oh. See, if, if say money and then he told me hey if i say money maybe i invest in bitcoin because bitcoin is a good <laughs> but but really but, but i i i say i say henry but the bitcoin is is a uh, volatile i don't know how to say it in english volatile uh, volatile, volatile. Up and down, but um, she told me, hey, no, some doesn't matter, it's good for me. 
and I Mirna. She told us, hey, uh, maybe I invest in, uh, I know, just, just uh, spend some money and invest, investment or invest? Invest. Uh, invest, invest the other part. But, but she don't explain me how she uh, uh, invest us the other oh, part okay. of money. Maybe invest in Pilsener, maybe invest in, yes, in, in Dollar City, maybe <laughs> like I, no, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know Mirna. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alexander say that he invest the, he, if he had a lot of money, he invests money in house, in houses, mm -hmm. in departments, and they will rent the departments mm -hmm. to have a to have like a how do you say ingreso passivo? Mm -hmm. I don't have it. Asset, asset. I don't know. Okay, we say that. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a very good idea. Pretty good <laughs> idea. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. Anybody else would like to share? Anybody else would like to share what their partner said or what you what you would do with the money? All right. Go ahead, Ever. Okay, uh, my uh, partner and I uh, think that we will take the money and go straight to the police because one thing is for sure, the money is not of our own, and uh, we cannot use it really uh, to expand because uh, the money could come from uh, illegal, how, how, how do I say that? Illegal activities. Correct, illegal activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, uh, but uh, we, we think that Another thing we can do is to, if it's possible, to investigate who's the owner of that money and give the money back to them. Uh, we, we think also that there are very, very small possibilities that, that we find that, that money. But if that happens, we, do, we will do that. Okay, all right. It's very interesting. Nobody, nobody says, hey, I give to the church. Hey, I give to the poor. <laughs> no, 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 because ever, um, when they, they have a lot of and, I ever, and, and, and Henry, for example, uh -huh. spoke it to the, go to the church and give to the, a lot of money for the people too. Ah, Henry. And after, uh, yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay, but okay. We think about that and, no, in in this country is uh, for the um, we wash the money, no? The lava dinero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> normally, normally it's terrible, the it's terrible for hacienda and and the bank, for example. We need to to take a, a legal form. Okay, this is called launder. Launder the money. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. Launder the money. Launder the money. Okay. Some companies Lander. give money to like ONHS. I don't have to say. Um, or NGOs. NGOs. NGO. Mm -hmm. uh, to to no, normally the the state uh, they don't make you pay some money if you give money to to organizations. I, I, or a chore, I don't know how you say. But yeah. yeah, it's true to the organizations, yes. Normally, uh, like they, they, how do you say, deducible, deducible los impuestos. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, you do donations. Yes, but uh, like they also donations. The, trade. the other ones are through donations, yes. It's correct, Henry, it's correct, yes. Peter. If the Listen money comes from, from El Chapo, it's better in my hand because he, he uses for the bad purposes, no? So Ian, um, in my case, I established, uh, established um, a company 
for to for to help uh, uh, the people that they don't have money. They sorry, they don't have job. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's better in my hands. It's better in your hands than El Chapo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that El Chapo, if you if you give uh, uh, if you give his money back, uh, he gives you a, a reward. No, he has a lot of money. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. 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 Good. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Now we're going to continue, and we're going to see Is how. Sure? Yes. Uh, how do you say deposito? Deposit? Uh, deposit, okay. Now, uh, about in the bank. Okay. Yes, in the bank, okay. deposit. Yes, deposit. Okay, okay. it's difficult to uh, <laughs> waste the, the, the money if you find a, a big uh, quantity. I don't know. Quantity? Quantity, okay, mm -hmm. uh, because in, uh, I know some uh, about uh, low uh, laundry laundry money, and when you have to spend the money, you have to uh, to give explanation about the origin of mm -hmm. the money, and you can say, "I found it," okay. Is <laughs> is a not good explanation. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Remember, Maria, she works like auditora. Auditor. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. But if you pay the, the owners of the bank, they wash your money. Ah, I know. No, no, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's difficult. Okay. <laughs> when when you offer to the owner, they wash money. I know some cases. Yeah, Tony Saka, I right? Know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks. Okay, good. Now we're going to see the structure. What is the grammatical structure for this information? This is called unreal conditionals. The, the grammar, the name of the grammar that we are using is unreal conditionals. So now let's look. This is from section 5.3. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If So, you can see the grammar structure and what she said. We use the simple past. If I, the past. Um, if I found, if I saw, um, if I ate, if I went. Simple past. And then in the consequence, we use the modal. Would, could, might, wouldn't. And then the verb in present. So simple past, verb in present. If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if, plus a past simple verb. Let's so let's take note. If you have a notebook or if you have something, this is the important grammar. This is the grammar that's important. And we use if plus the verb in the past simple. This is the if part. You can change the order, but it's if plus the verb in the past simple. 
And then in the condition clause or in the main clause, we use the model would, could, might, plus the verb in present tense, okay? Plus the verb in present tense. Here, if we see the rule, it says we use all of it. He, she, it, we use were, no was. For, the, for this grammar structure, no he was, she was, it was, no. Everybody, if we use the verb to be, we use were. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might, plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. So, yes, we use commas, but only when if is at the beginning. If if is at the end or in the middle, like here, we do not use comma. Only when you begin the sentence with if, then you use a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring, if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, type your answers as well in our discussion box. Okay, so let's look at that grammar. The topic is unreal conditionals. And what was the grammar is this. If plus the verb in the past simple, and then the model plus the verb in present. The example, if he were friendly, he would be good friends we would be good friends. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna practice a little bit, but first is okay the idea, the structure, any questions? Not sure. Oh, always, I have, always we, we use where? Yes, always, always. always so you, I can no, say no, no, I, but, I was uh, or? You don't, uh -huh, always you use where and oh. not was. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like I were. Correct. I were. I were. If I were. If I were. Correct. But only in imagining uh, situations. Correct, Henry. Only in imaginary okay. situations. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions? Okay. Teacher, so. mm -hmm. Edwin. Yes, Alexander. I am confused. Because in the, uh, in the because this uh, I I I am reading, it's user to see he she and with were instead of was, but in this case if he were, it's okay. But it's I were or I was. No 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 all all with were. Ah, uh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. You use only were. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? No. No. Okay. Great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make questions with our partners. We're going to practice here. We have several different conversations and we need to complete them. Which one is the correct, correct form? Okay. This is 5.4. Okay. So first we're going to practice with our partners 5.4, okay? Then we're going to ask and answer our partner different types of questions, okay? How do we make the questions? As an example, what would you? And then the verb, okay? How is going to be the verb? What would you? The verb is going to be in?
the verb in present. What the verb in present, okay? For what would you do, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, okay, I got it. Okay. Now that's that's normal. That's when you ask. And here's where we need to get to, we don't get confused. That is normally what you hear. But today, today we are practicing if. We are practicing if. So that means it's going to be different. It's going to be like this, okay? What would you do? The same idea, right? What would you do? What would you say? What would you do, okay? If you, um, then the verb is going to be in past, okay? This second part, I'm going to put it in the chat so we don't get confused, okay? So that we can see the structure, okay? That way you can get a better idea. I'm, uh, I'm going to give you the example in one moment. So I am, I'm not going to put this one. Okay, so how would we make a normal question? Like the one in the example in the chat. What would you do if you saw your ex? Mm. then because now you are imagining right you can change the different verbs okay we can make the same idea you can make it in a different form for example i can say to henry what would you say if you saw your ex okay notice that the first part okay is the verb in present. What would you do? What would you say? What Because that is, you are thinking about now. The second part is in past because you are imagining the situation. Okay. It's okay how to make the questions? It's okay. Okay, so the two things we're going to do 5.4 and then we're going to ask and answer our partner different questions. Any different questions that you like uh, about jobs, money, traveling, anything. If you could travel anywhere in the world, if you could go uh, to different countries, whatever you want, okay? We're gonna look at the different situations. Okay. okay. Elsie, Rafa, any questions? Elsie, you there? What would you do if you found lots of money? Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. 
I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money or an expensive cell phone? Type your answers on our discussion box. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. This one is formed with if plus. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program on our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring? If your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust? Type your answers as well in our discussion box. Hi, are you ready to describe imaginary situations? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000,
I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the if clause and the main clause. Let's work first on the if clause. This one is formed with if plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the main clause. In this part, we may use would, could, or might plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. Now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class, I want you to take turns asking and answering questions. What would you do if you saw a burglar in your home? If you found a diamond ring, if your friend wanted to marry someone you didn't trust, type your answers as well in our discussion box. Elsie, you having problems? You will learn to do so after the audio program and our explanation. Unreal conditional sentences with if clauses. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. What would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I would go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I'd go straight to the mall. If I found $750,000, I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. If I found $750,000, I might go to the police. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. This is what Unreal Conditional is about. Unreal Conditional describes imaginary situations. Let's begin with the structure of it. An Unreal Conditional is made out of two clauses, the IF clause and the MAIN clause. Let's work first on the IF clause. This one is formed with IF plus a past simple verb. Let's move on to the MAIN clause. In this part, we may use WOULD, COULD or MIGHT plus verb in simple present. We want you to pay attention to the following. Clauses may change position. If clause may be first or vice versa, but you need to watch your punctuation. The use of comma is mandatory when the if clause is at the beginning. Read the following example and notice the use of a comma. But when the if clause is at the end of the sentence, we do not use a comma. Finally, we have some examples for you. If she had a lot of money, she could buy a new apartment. They would be happy if they won the lottery. If he were president, he might reduce taxes. 
now that you have learned about Unreal Conditional in class. Okay, I'm glad you're back. I see everybody's here. Okay. Okay, Elsie, you're doing okay? I think Elsie has- Yes, she said. Okay. Yes. You were having some problems with the with the microphone, right? Yes, because um, my Wi-Fi is not working. So I, I am watching the class in my cell phone. Ah, it's okay. The important is that you are in the class. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Good, good. All right. Anybody have any questions? Anything that is not clear? No? No, teacher. No, everything is okay. Everything is clear. All right. Let me get some examples. Javier, make a question for Dalia. Ah, okay. Where would you go to? Saturday or where you where would you travel in this weekend? I think mm, no, 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 because that's not the how do you say that's not the conditional. That's only the, the what would. Okay. 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 It's okay, uh, Javier. Let's try maybe Katya. Uh, listen to Katya. Maybe Katya can help us a little bit. Katya, ask Dalia a okay. question. Okay. Okay. What would you do if you were you uh, live on the beach? Okay. You see that Javier is the verb in the past. If you were, if you lived, if you had, that's the that's the key for the conditionals. Dalia. Okay. 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 Go ahead, Dalia. Answer the question. Dalia, you're on uh, mute. Sorry, I don't hear very clear. The, okay, Katya, yeah. please repeat your question. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, what if, would you do if you were in the beach? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I if I, I went to the, I see I um, go to the beach, I, uh, I take uh, a lot of sun. And maybe I, um, I, I, sw I swim in, no, yes. Then yes, I would swim, I would swim. swim for another continent, but continent. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> the Europe. Yes. <laughs> very long driving. Yeah, yeah, very long, very long. <laughs> All right, guys, that's the idea. Very good, we're gonna go ahead and continue tomorrow. Remember to work in your platform, only a few days left. Only, only a few days left. And already we are at unit five. So let's finish the unit four in the platform, okay? Cool. All right, guys, have a great night. Thank you, good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.